Splenda. Cutting back from two Splendas. Oh my God. That's Splenda. Four days. Four days. Four days. That place. We've already started. Not a bad day. Are we all are we all uh, plugged in? Are you done? Yes, we are. Ready properly? To go. We are. Terrific. Okay. Not case. Call our <coughs> meeting to order. The December fifteenth. Um, architecture Review and Planning Board, um, and yes, we call the meeting to order, and we have to have a roll call. Mr. Levine? Present. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Roche? Here. Mr. Murphy? Here. Chairman Kent? Here. Okay. Thank you. The records show that Town Manager Thrasher is present, as is Attorney Randolph and our new alternate, Mrs. Jones. Thank you very much. Let's see, we have uh, first to review the draft of the minutes from the last meeting. Um, if there are any comments as to changes, um, great to hear them now. Otherwise, I think we have a motion to approve them. I'd like to make a motion to um, approve the minutes of the meeting of October 27th. Second. Rita? Mr. Rubini? Aye. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Roche? Yes. Mr. Murphy? Yes. Chairman Kent? Aye. Thank you. Um, are there any additions, withdrawals, deferrals, or rearrangement? I have none. None? Thank you, Rita. Um, we have a, uh, a list of the future meetings coming up. Winter is always easy to get a quorum, easier to get a quorum. Does anybody have a conflict with any one of the meetings? January 26th, next one. Um, then I'd like to start the uh, public hearing portion of uh, today's agenda. Um, the first item is a uh, declaration of any ex parte communication. Mm -hmm. Has anybody had any ex parte communication None. regarding the no. application? No. no. Thank you. Um, Rita. Both to those who plan on speaking in the meeting today. Please stand and raise your right hand. I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth, so help you God. I do, Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, next on the agenda is an application for developmental approval. Um, an application submitted by Dave Bodker, landscape architect's agent for Christine Muir owner of the property at 3244 North Ocean Boulevard. Um, Mr. Viper, if you could make your presentation. Good morning. My name is Dave Bodker, 601 North Congress Avenue, Delray Beach, Florida. I'm a landscape architect and also, as you said, this morning I'm representing uh, Bobby Morrell and Kristen Muir. Uh, the property is at 3244 North Ocean Boulevard. And with me this morning is David Frank of Precision Drafting and Design. Um, move this forward. Um, this project is uh, concerned with the removing of an existing pool right here and replacing it with a new pool deck, a new swimming pool, 59 foot 6 inches long by 17 foot 3 inches wide. A new pool deck that has uh, pavers with grass joints and the addition of a, a covered lanai area. Uh, the planting plan for this project is only, uh, the only new plants that we're proposing aside from some turf and sod, is five areca palms right in this area. And that's to provide additional screening for this new lanai that's going in here. Uh, the rest of the planting, there's an existing six foot high ficus hedge here and there's uh, five coconut palms represented by this chartreuse color on here. There's uh, six existing foxtail palms that are pretty nice where the old uh, pool deck is in this area. And we're going to relocate those between the coconut palms. So that's these symbols here on the plan. Um, if you have looked at your package, hopefully, and seen the photographs there, you can see that this yard is pretty lushly planted. Um, the 
back area here is very heavily planted. I, I've got additional photographs if yours are not clear or you get a pretty good feel for the project. They already have a good feel mm -hmm. yeah. for, for how heavily planted I have this needle. Excuse me. Um, the neighbors completed an addition. I'm not sure how long ago. It's fairly recent. They did a, a two-story addition here. So if you look at the photographs, you can, uh, from the Morrell single-story uh, home, you can look over here and see uh, the addition that occurred, the two-story addition. Um, I don't think that this new pool will uh, affect, uh, will have any visual consequence to the neighbors from the south. I think that they may be the only ones that could possibly be impacted by this, uh, this, uh, these improvements. Um, as far as Lanai, David might go through that with you if you'd like, and uh, you can see what that uh, architecture will look like. And then I'll be glad to answer any questions you may have. David, you want David, morning, morning. My name is David Frank, Precision Drafting and Design, 34 Vista Del Rio, Wayne Beach, Florida. Um, what we did, what the clients wanted to add to their house was a covered lanai, um, which is right back here, directly in line with the south side of the wall of the existing house. And it goes out, uh, those floor plans. 25 foot 10 by 18 feet. Um, in addition to that, what, we're, what they'd like to do is remove two windows, French doors, and step two sections of wall here, and remove the two garage doors and the column in the center, and go back with. Larger sliding glass door with its within the cut of patio and do one 16 foot or 18 foot garage door in place of the two. This is the new roof plan, which everything matches the existing construction as far as the pitch. The roof material, we did shorten the overhang a little bit um, and we did raise it up to uh, an elevation of 10 feet as opposed to the 8 foot 2 that they have the rest of the house. So it sticks up a little bit. It's behind the front of the house on the left hand side, which you can't really see. Every ball the roof lines do match, and obviously the roof material will match also. These are the new sliding glass doors. And they also want to add a, uh, an outdoor fireplace. Uh, the front doors, the front garage door is a double section, 18 foot wide door to try to give the impression of two doors. Is there any questions? Or? Why would they change it from a two-door to a single-door garage? They just wanted a wider opening. Um, can you give us some description of what the underneath side will look like on this lanai? Is it, is it, is it an open beam? That no, it'd be a tongue and groove. Tongue and groove. Tongue and groove. Cypress or something like yeah, that? Yeah. And you said it's 10 feet versus 8 feet? 8 foot 2. Um, I'm sorry, I did not pick up on the new Lanai on the west end of the, of the house. Um, is that going to be a, a, 
solid roof or is that um, open or is it just beams? Or it's going to be a tongue and groove ceiling. Okay, so it's going to be an actual because the roof plan doesn't. Really doesn't yeah, we didn't do any construction details on that yet, but the, the roof is going to be the same roof as, as the existing <coughs> building. Okay. The exterior on the roof surface. Of the roof. Okay. <coughs> Yeah, because the, the roof plan doesn't show the Lanai. This is the new. Well, that's the new. Yeah, that's the Lanai at the west end. Is that's both the roof. Yeah, right. Mm -hmm. This is that new thing. This is this right here? No, but I think you are thinking there's one at the end of the master bedroom <laughs> all the way in the west end. No, no, no. 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 This no. is just behind the, the dining room. Okay, front. so there's not, when you said the Lanai, um, I'm sorry, I thought it was the structure that has a marble tile on it. All yeah. the way at the west end of the house. Yeah, no, no. there's okay. the front garage, front doors here. The living room in the front is right here. Uh, they've got a front bedroom in the front. Yes. And then just behind that is the one. Uh, so the only that's the only new roof. Okay. Thank yeah. You. That's what. Okay. I thought there was an additional when you said on when you pointed out the thing on the west end of the house. So it's just this. Yeah, this is right behind the front. Here's the front bedroom, front living room, and this is behind that front front bedroom. Well, see, it says right here. It says. Deck. So that will remain uncovered. Yeah, there, there's a. I'm sorry, at the very west end of the house. Uh, let me see, sleep. Oh, the marble tile here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, here, here's in relationship to. Oh no, I'm, really, I'm, I'm totally on board with that. I know, I know what the project entails, which is that we're we're the, yeah, the, the, the end of the existing home is right here. They have a small patio right here. It's actually larger than what we're showing on here. So we're going to reduce that in size to just this, this square shape. Right now it has kind of an arc on it, okay. the, the patio, but it's an open patio. But that's staying uncovered. Yes. yes. Okay, because when I heard Lanai, yeah. I thought, mm -hmm. oh, okay, that's terrific. Well, the reason we're here is because the, because the this proposed Lanai will in, intrude into the setback, but it's allowed under the provision, which allows uh, Continuation of an existing setback into the continuation of an existing setback. So I, I don't think the lanai goes into the no, setback. No. It's, it's merely the, uh, around the pool that goes five feet into the exactly. setback. The, the issue yeah. was the existing house originally, when it was built, um, was oh, nine point seven feet. So it's a non-conforming property. Okay. So that's, that's on the north side that it's non conforming. The north right? side yeah. is non conforming, yeah. right? It's, it's so we do need to set back on the south side. We're not encroaching. Okay. So, and we check. So this was a level three because of the. Uh, because of the uh, special exception. It's coming to you. It could have, it would have, if there were no special exception, it would still come to you because of the right. square footage of the cover and the nine. Got it. Perfect. Okay. Exceeding 300. Any further? Yeah, can I make a reference to the uh, questions about, you mentioned the neighbours to the south. Yes. Have they made any comments? I know you said you don't think they could do, you, you infer, not inferred, but has there been actually any formal response? No. Okay. Yes, I would say that the impact of the new pool is really minimal to the neighbouring property. As a matter of fact, it's more of an impact it's, it's on this property than the, the, uh, the, the second story over the garage. But there was no comment from them when that one went. When that one went up, yes, yeah. exactly. A mutual, mutual, appreci <laughs> mutual appreciation. <laughs> <laughs> the two of them are friends, you know. <laughs> at least now. <laughs> yeah, at least now, until the house is gets <laughs> old. Oh boy. Oh, we'll gosh. have to take out that one. <laughs> um, anything further on the proposed project? Okay. Um, I'd like to hear a motion then. Uh, I'd like to make a motion, please. Um, the first motion is to recommend approval of a demolition permit to remove the existing pool and prepare the structure for the addition. Second. Yeah. Mr. Rubini. Aye. Mr. Smith. Yes. Mr. Kelly. Yes. Mr. Merkin. Yes. Chairman Pan. Aye. Thank you. Furthermore, uh, next, a second motion to recommend approval of a special exception to permit the addition of a covered patio on the south side of an existing non-conforming Bermuda-style one-story single-family dwelling. 
the north side of which encroaches approximately 5.24 feet into the north side setback. I'll second that. Yeah. Mr. Rubini? Aye. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Roche? Yes. Mr. Murphy? Yes. Chairman Kim? Aye. Thank you. And finally, a motion to recommend approval of a level three architectural site plan based on a finding that the proposed construction of a new swimming pool and jacuzzi this construction of a six foot high wall to conceal the air conditioning and generator units and the addition of a 482.5 square feet covered patio with outdoor fireplace to the existing Bermuda style one story single family dwelling which includes adjustment of and addition to the landscaping meeting the minimum intent of the design manual and applicable review standards with the following condition. One, a four foot high podocarpus hedge material should be placed in front, brackets, neighbours or street side of the existing chain link fencing. I'll second that. I just have one question because yeah. we didn't talk about the, uh, the, the wall that's going to go around the air conditioners and the generators. Where are they on the north side? Oh, it's yeah. the, okay. Yeah. It's in the it's within the fifteenth. It doesn't encroach. It's not. It doesn't encroach. No. It's on the south side. Yeah, I can't see that wall. It's sketched on. It's, it's right. It's right there. On the, see here the AC. Where's the wall? Right there. Oh, just that one tiny little piece. Right here. Oh, okay. And it's uh, it's it's seventeen point three four nine feet from the from the property line. I'm sorry. I, I'll second Malcolm's motion. Thanks. Mr. Rubini? Aye. Mr. Smith? Yes. Mr. Roche? Yes. Mr. Murphy? Yes. Chairman Kent? Aye. Okay. Well, thank you all. Thank, thank you very much. for everybody for making this uh, straightforward. And yeah. Next time, try to wear socks with you, please. Maybe I'll get some for Commission will hear this on January the 13th. Okay. Friday the 13th. Okay. At 9 a.m. <laughs> Terrific. Thank you. Thank you. Um, do we have any items on staff? Do you want to go No. No? Okay. Um, any items um, by the Public is very docile, yeah. and uh, thank you. Good morning. <laughs> and um, today, your motion for an adjournment. So moved. Oh, okay. Thank right. you very much. Merry Christmas. 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 Merry Christmas